हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज कंट्रोल एंड कोऑर्डिनेशन इन ह्यूमन बीइंग्स स्टूडेंट्स द प्रोसेस ऑफ कंट्रोल एंड कोऑर्डिनेशन इन ह्यूमन बीइंग्स हैज टू पार्ट्स वी विल स्टडी दिस टॉपिक अंडर टू हेडिंग्स दैट इज नर्वस सिस्टम एंड एंडोक्राइन सिस्टम नर्वस सिस्टम consist of brain spinal cord and different types of nerves and endocrine system is it is also called hormonal system it consist of various hormones produced by glands we will study both system turn wise now we are starting nervous system students this nervous system has two parts central nervous system cns and peripheral nervous system that is pns the central nervous system further is divided into two parts that is brain and spinal cord and peripheral nervous system is made up of nerves these nerves we studied in our earlier classes this is the bundle of nerve this is the uh, nerves are the bundles of neurons and their types we have studied cranial nerves spinal nerves and mixed nerves okay so today our first topic is brain human brain is divided into three parts fore brain mid brain and hind brain so first is fore brain second part is mid brain and third part is hind brain we will study about these parts in detail now now our topic is brain the brain is located in the head region of our body it is protected by three things first is there is bony structure bony skull bony box which is called cranium after cranium there are three membranes membranous protection in the form of three membranes called meninges students must remember this word meninges it is not manings it is meninges g e s okay and the names of these three mem membranes are dura mater arachnoid mater and pia mater okay in between these three membranes there is cerebrospinal fluid there is a fluid present between these three membranes and this fluid is called cerebrospinal fluid these three things cranium meninges and cerebrospinal fluid collectively protect the brain from the mechanical shocks and here is the structure of human brain all the parts are clearly located in it this is cranium the outer bony case cranium then is three meninges 1 2 and 3 three membranes meninges in between these three meninges there is cerebrospinal fluid and these three things provide protection from the mechanical shocks then there is fore brain this yellow part this is fore brain then is mid brain and then in the last there is hind brain fore brain mainly consist of cerebrum mid brain has no further divisions and then hind brain 
has three further divisions pons medulla and cerebellum and this brain the posterior part of this hind brain is connected with spinal cord and this is this flower like structure here is cerebellum okay students this is the structure of human brain it is very important you have to learn its diagram as well as its labeling and all and the functions of all the parts this is very very important according to the, uh, according to the exam point of view okay now three main parts of brain fore brain mid brain and hind brain now we will study about them what turn wise first is fore brain it's mainly consist of cerebrum it is the main thinking part of the brain it controls the voluntary actions voluntary means which takes place according to our will i told you earlier na so voluntary actions it also stores information that is it forms our memory it receives sensory impulses from various parts of the body and integrate these impulses and convert it into proper response that is why it is called voluntary actions through various sense organs all the stimuli are collected and sent to this part forebrain here it integrates and converted into response it has center associated with hunger okay it may come in one mark question name the part of the brain which is associated with hunger so answer will be fore brain okay so questions from these fun the functions of the uh, parts of the brain usually comes in the form of this uh, name the part that is associated with hunger name the part of the brain that controls voluntary actions okay so answer will be fore brain okay next is mid brain it controls involuntary actions such as change in the size of the pupil of our eye reflex movement of hand head neck and trunk okay next is hind brain hind brain is further divided into into three parts cerebellum medulla and pons cerebellum controls posture and balance precision of voluntary actions like picking pen next is medulla it controls involuntary actions involuntary means the actions which are not under our control like blood pressure salivation in mouth after seeing the food and vomiting these actions are controlled by medulla and last part is pons it control it also controls the involuntary actions that takes place in our body itself like regulation of respiration okay this is all about the parts of the brain now an another important thing that you have to learn is there are 12 pair of cranial nerves cranial nerves means the nerves which arise from brain so there are 12 pairs of cranial nerves emerge out of the brain in both the directions okay which connect various upper body parts that is like eyes nose ears okay so these there are 12 pairs of cranial nerves okay now our topic is spinal cord spinal cord is the extension of posterior part of brain suppose this is the brain and this is spinal cord okay cranial nerves arise in this way and spinal nerves arise from spinal cord okay this is suppose this is brain and this is the posterior part of the brain where spinal cord is connected okay 
protection again the three things vertebral column which is made up of small bones called vertebrae there are 33 vertebrae which join to form single vertebral column in which the spinal cord is placed this is bony structure okay next is meninges three membranes which are in the continuation with the brain three membranes also there then is cerebrospinal fluid which is present in between these three meninges three membrane layers okay all the three things same as brain protect the spinal cord again the thing here to remember is 31 pairs of spinal nerves emerge out from either side of the spinal cord and connects various body parts now the functions of spinal cord there are two main functions of spinal cord number one is it conducts impulses from the receptors to the brain as well as from the brain to the effectors that we have studied so many times next is it controls reflexes that is reflex actions that was our last topic in, the, in our last class okay so there are these are the two main functions of spinal cord okay